Hello, dear friends. People assume that the answer to all problems is the action of state agencies, but charities could lead a new golden age of civic society. Opinion piece, love in action, mutual support, do not be afraid, healing the earth, that is solidarity, signs of the times, trials and tribulations. Let's start. Love in action is spreading rapidly. Family and friends whose relationship has had broken down are forgiving and reuniting. Appreciation of the Earth's beauty and the abundant provisions for its life forms is expanding. Respectful treatment of animals is increasing. Residents are improving community conditions and grassroots movements are gaining influence around the world. Living human beings think more deeply, examine their conscience, seek understanding and enlightenment. These touching situations and many others are aspects of the energy of love and solidarity. Don't be afraid. Be optimistic about the future. Connect with the earth. Heal Shedri and be grateful for something every day, says Matthew Ward through his mother, Susan Ward. Definition. The meaning of love in action refers to the practical and concrete manifestation of solidarity, which goes beyond simple feelings or emotions. In this sense, love is not just a feeling, but an action that involves dedication, compassion to others. This perspective highlights that love is not only expressed through romantic words or gestures, but it is translated into actions that benefit and support others. Furthermore, charity, which is defined as love of a neighbor in action, is closely related to justice and is considered a theological virtue that is organized in the action of care for others in all its forms. This perspective perspective of love in action highlights the importance of action and practice in the manifestation of solidarity, and not only in emotion or feeling. Doubles or clones. Mainstream media has conditioned viewers to not even question whether they have been watching the same people the entire time. People who know the imposters either voluntarily remain silent or are braided or threatened by agents of the dark side who want the influence of the disease to continue. The increasing frequency is prompting viewers to examine the circumstances more closely than before, and questions are being raised. Population controllers exist at the low frequency they produce, causing fear and suffering, but they cannot stand the high frequency. The white hats are not a body of angles with divinely assigned occult assignments. They are members of a special units, intelligence agents, researchers, journalists, and disseminators who are among the many volunteers who don't know they are volunteers and therefore do not identify themselves as such. Little do they know that they are fighting a battle between light and darkness that began in ancient times and is ending now. What they do know is that a powerful group has created armed conflicts, manipulating the economy and causing chaos around the world. That is not the world they want for their children and grandchildren. Individually, they had opposed injustice decades ago, and as time passed, the energy of their awareness of the group's network and its excessive activities and their feelings about the future of their families drew them toward each other, realizing that they had the knowledge, expertise, and experience 
to be a small but potent force for freedom, they began to uncover the group's trenches. These brave men and women are alone in the global trenches, so to speak, but they have a growing support group of awakened souls, millions of human beings, are generating the light that sustained the white hat effort, representing all trades and professions from agriculture to teaching, truck driving, science, construction, and music. Restoration. The introduction of free energy and the replacement of many millions of trees are primary aspects of restoring the earth to its pristine condition when the entire planet was a garden of Eden. At first, Terra, the name that became Earth, was a huge continent with gentle hills and valleys, and the rest was an immensity of crystal clear swallow waters. Long eras of advanced civilizations preceded the first prolonged period of continuous cataclysms that formed volcanoes and a series of just mountain ranges that spread across the ocean floors across vast areas. The weather of the future will be moderate, except in mountains and polar areas, where temperatures will allow snowfall and some ice formation, and there will, no, will be no violent storms, earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Those devastating events were necessary to release the negativity caused by darkness, so that it would not accumulate and endanger the life of the planet. That era of eons is over. The technologies of the universal family and your own are being turned from duck hunts to remedy environmental damage, neutralize radiation and dematerialize a megaton of garbage with repressing efficiency and speed. If you visualize the earth as pristine, beautiful, and sun-kissed, the energy of your thoughts and images will not only assist in the rejuvenation of the earth, but will seal your vibrational signature, signature into the cells of the planet from which the cells of your body are derived. The common concept of the planet's interior, which includes various types of rocks, minerals, and crystals, oil, water, magma, and natural gas, is far from complete. In addition to these natural elements, there are thousands of kilometers of tunnels. Some were built during the last century, but deep within the earth, there are ancient tunnels containing technology beyond imagining, and highly evolved, evolved civilizations live in modest communities and magnificent cities. Those members of the universal family will be represented where life on the surface is peaceful, and the spectacular tunnels with prodigious technology will also be revealed. You are living in one of the most momentous eras since the creative source selected one God to co-create and govern all celestial bodies and life forms in this universe. That you have been chosen to awaken humankind to Gaia and help them discover the phenomenal homeland they have is an excellent tribute to the extraordinary souls that you are. Feel privileged, honored, and grateful. All beings of light in this universe support you with the incomparable power of unconditional love. Reset News Planetary liberation is near. The attempt to eliminate the recognition of dignity, human rights, and fundamental freedoms of human beings has been nullified. Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban says the old world order has failed with war, chaos, unrest, and destroyed economies. The White Dragon Society is thousands of years old. The White Dragon was the original symbol of England. According to Daniel Scranton, only that which serves all humanity 
can exist, and that has always been the case. Therefore, it is up to you, as awakened ones, to see how to serve humankind and go through the trials and tribulations of this time. Signs of the Times According to Michael Snyder, people continue to act as if we were as if we were living in normal times. But the truth is that these are not so normal. We are in the middle of a perfect drama. Our world is worried with with war, economic problems, food shortages, pestilences and natural disasters. When will people start waking up? What you are what we are experiencing is not even close to normal. It seems like almost every day brings us another new crisis to deal with, and the pace of events looks set to increase as this year of the dragon continues to progress. Dystopias. Australia demands censorship of social net network X beyond its borders. The European Court of Justice ruled that member states can force people to be injected. That's bad. Trudeau announces the launch of a social rating systems in Canada following China's example. They are also trying to force people to get QR codes to enter and exit controlled areas. This has already started on Madeleine Island. Quebec, where you will be fined if you don't get QR code to leave. According to Tucker Carlson, Democrats in Congress are working to shut down the television network that criticized them. That's illegal, but it's happening. The Jews did not kill Jesus, according to a new US law. Protests. France, Australia, the UK, Germany, and Spain, the world map of pro-Palestinian university protests is growing. Columbia students inspired by protests against apartheid and the Vietnam War. Nearly half of the protesters arrested earlier this week at the University of Texas at Austin were not affiliated with the university. Are protests paid to trigger martial law? Iran offers scholarships to students expelled from Western universities. Israel's concern about the possibility that the International Criminal Court will issue an arrest warrant against its leaders. Economy Oil closes its most bearish week since February due to the rumor of a trust in Gaza. The fading risk of war pushes oil to its biggest weekly drop. Consumer credit for families reached its highest level in 15 years in March. Elon Musk wants that debt must be addressed before the dollar is worthless, in quotes. The director of the IMF in Russia does not rule out the collapse of the international monetary system. The phenomenon of the working pure refers to the situation of people who, despite having a job, have income so low that they do not allow them to access the goods and services necessary to satisfy their basic needs and those of their households. Africa. China is forgiving Africa's debt. Africa is establishing itself as an influential player in world politics and is forming one of the centers of the multipolar world order. Tension in Niger due to the presence of Russian soldiers in an air base. A game changer will take place in Africa once multinationals are forced to pay global prices for commodities. Brutal mining. Wild economies are increasing demand for the rare minerals in Eastern Congo including approximately 70% of the world's known cobalt, a vital component of lithium-ion batteries. The problem is that the supply comes from industrial and artisanal mines, 
guarded by armed militias and whacked by hundreds of thousands of men, women and children who are enslaved. Europe, Saudi Arabia and Indonesia pressure the European Union to stop confiscating Russian assets. Matteo Salvini, in quotes, not a single Italian soldier will die in the name of Macron in Ukraine. Portugal approves removing tolls on its highways. Spain. Spain moves from 36th to 30th place in the world ranking of press freedom. Spain is not safe from the global deterioration of journalism due to political pressure, but it resists in a discouraging world scenario. Record number of foreign tourists and spending in Spain in a historic first quarter. Spain receives 16.1 million tourists until March and registers the best first quarter in history. Almost 20,000 immigrants arrived by sea to or land to Spain so far this year, three times more than in 2023, most of them to the Canary Islands. Alfonso Guerra sees Sánchez in an autocratic drift and accuses him of generating division between the two Spains. Americas. Mexico registers a new record of exports to the US. Pemex plans to close the sixth year period with more than 1 million barrels per day. Mexican university students join the mobilizations with a camp at the UNAM. El Salvador, the first Central American country to open its embassy in Saudi Arabia. The Argentine Senate is capable of overturning Millet's initiatives. The president of Argentina blames the expensive dollar for the country's fiscal and regulatory structure. The Central Bank of Bolivia plans to buy 10 tons of gold to strengthen its reserves. The media organization in Peru denounces attempts by Congress against press freedom. Authorities in the Brazilian city of Porto Alegre declare an alert for extreme flooding. China was the main destination for exports from the Andean community countries in 2023. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.